They have done great things against Louisville, including beating them three of the last four times in which the Cards were ranked in the top five, including last year when they won in Tallahassee with Brooke Wyckoff as the acting head coach. Morgan Jones had a double-double in that victory last year in Tallahassee right off the bat. Emily Exler doing what you just talked about. Now, I think Florida State has to look at opportunities to get River Baldwin touches inside. They've got to play an inside-out game, pound it in, get her some touches, put some pressure on the Louisville interior defense. Hanks are coming from Syracuse where they only played zone, and Jones got two in a row. Gathers it, so three subs in now for Florida State. Shot clock winding down. Baldwin, good look, good result. And she uses her body. She contorts her body oftentimes when she gets up in the air. Kiana Smith wide right and right into the game and delivering Liz Dixon. We will miss in nine of their last ten, but only down by two. Engsler, she's a really good passer. That was nifty by Dixon. She is a really good passer, and, and that's what makes her such a tough matchup. Action right here. Ingsler does such a good job of drawing attention. Liz Dixon does such a good job of Robinson kept it alive. Puisas threw it away. Picasso Robinson bumped by Jackson County. To push the ball, and you have to push it by excellent possessions on the defensive end. And Mikasa Robinson gets in the passing lane. The problem has been consistently scoring for this team. Or finding a consistent scorer. Van Lith got it. You get those opportunities with your defense, but offensively, sometimes with so many weapons, it's about figuring out how in the flow to get your shots. Boy, that's good work by River Baldwin. Yeah, there really is. And her versatility, she's being asked to do things she wasn't at Syracuse, and particularly you see it on the defensive end of the floor, now playing man-to-man -man defense as opposed to 2-3 zone as Morgan Jones knocks down another jumper. Gordon, the freshman point guard. Jackson, well off the mark with the offensive putback. Morgan Jones continues really to be a thorn in the side of the Cardinals. In the right place at the right time, pursuing the offense every month. She's so quick off her feet. Her length, her ability to use both hands. You have to be physical with her. You have to try to keep her off balance. You have to make her really, really work for every bucket she gets. Jones, always a good decision to get it to her. It is, particularly in the mid-range. Winding down, Kiana Smith. Rebound by the smallest player on the floor, Gordon, who's listed at 5-4, coast to coast. You gotta stop the ball in transition. Who didn't get to play a lot this summer because of injury, who had the COVID issues as well. Coming into this environment for the first time, aggressive and fearless. And left with the answer over Gordon. Boy, the defense just converged on Cochran. Dixon? from the beginning of the season to now, adding this dimension to her game, going to the rim strong. Cochran right down the lane. She was a complimentary player on the opponent's scouting report with Dana Evans on the floor. And early in the season, she had to figure out where does she fit because everybody was keying on her. Terrific block. Morgan Jones has been quiet after a very fast start. Smith, nice pass. Cochran. Aaron Howard working on Engsler. Huesis drew the defenders and then Engsler with the emphatic block on Baldwin. Engsler blocked nicely by Howard. Van Lip, quick, won't go. Jones trying to run, but Smith and Engsler got back. Puisis. Jackson. Engsler got a hand on it again. Kiana Smith.
outscoring the Seminoles by 10. Poises stops, hits it. There she is. Morgan Jones can't keep her quiet for long. You see the rest of the team lagging behind Morgan Jones and the bench points. Florida State has nothing off the bench. Jones just picking up where she left off. Yeah, she really is. And I think this is a tremendous challenge for Emily Ingsler. Morgan Jones, a very special player, number 24 in black. Steph says reminds her of the great Tweety Nolan, who had such a terrific career with the Detroit Shock. Oh, my, Sammy Poises with long, long range. Yeah, and there are so few players that are deadly in the mid-range and so few players who can elevate over defenders like those two. Cochran, extra effort with the putback. Jones showing some versatility. State has some sense of confidence in the way that they've been able to play Louisville over the last few years, knowing that if they can keep themselves in the ball game, give themselves a chance, but Louisville is looking really good on the offensive end of the floor right now. Yeah. Jones guarded by Engsler. Great, great matchup. Baldwin, nice when she's left open. Jones, fade away that time. Oh man, you cannot stop that. All right, Meyer is able to grab the Howard pass. And taking advantage of another mismatch. But every opportunity is a teaching moment. Smith back to Puisis and buried the three. Seven different Cardinals have scored tonight. Jones, oh, over Robinson, who's a great defender. In the game they made close at the end. That's the only other time they played a ranked team. Dixon working on Baldwin, who blocked her. Florida State shooting 49% for the game, which is really high against this Louisville defense, but Mikasa Robinson doing Mikasa Robinson things. Louisville run, ran away with the game. Their last contest, Jackson. They have led by as many as 13. How about that? Do you think she can get Coach Wells to allow her to take <laughs> some more of those? Yeah, look at my range, Coach. <laughs> Gordon slicing inside and was fouled by Cochran. And Morgan Jones has as many points, 23, as the rest of her teammates tonight. Good look to Howard, there was contact, but no foul. Inksler has really thrived in this system. She sure has, looks like a totally different player. Robinson! The schedule in play to, to play themselves into one of those seeds as well. And I think the toughest region is the Wichita region right now with Tennessee, Louisville, Iowa State, and Oregon, a healthy Oregon team. Angsler, she's so good going to her left. Tried to finish with her right and follows it. She's patting those rebounding stats right there. Her body control, her ability to, to stay in the air, to float, to, to move. Jones, yes. Off the bench, seven points, five rebounds, four blocks. Angsler, oh, oh snap! Man. Morgan Jones, wow. Angsler, money. You gotta be up closer. You've gotta force her to be uncomfortable. Bajetti, her chance for a three-point play. Another board for Engsler. Cochran, beautiful finish. Emily Engsler has gotten another double-double. Smith has another three, her second of the night. 
Robinson inbounds with 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Smith, catch, shoot, hit. And she does all of those things that don't show up in the stat sheet. Tonight she did show up in the stat sheet. Yeah, big time. All across the board, Emily Axler. Florida State has only scored nine points in this quarter after putting up 23 in the third to get back into it. Puisis is going to still shoot. I mean, this is a team who, before we had them at Georgia Tech, had only had two practices together as a unit. It's another two. The ACC, five teams ranked now. North Carolina just dropped out. Virginia Tech should be in, I, in my opinion. Yes, yes. Nice, nice play there by Gordon, the uh, freshman. An amazing effort by Morgan Jones, and she's getting worked on. We hope it is just a cramp. But Louisville, with a, an impressive fourth quarter, pulls away to win it 75-62. to 62.